you will always get uh, a higher quality girl through cold approach uh, instead of playing around with uh, dating apps and I would even argue that you uh, the vast majority of the time will get higher quality girls through cold approach than uh, any sort of nightclub or even any sort of a meetup any sort of a social event generally yeah, if it's if it's like a a party of friends or something along those lines you might be able to find a high quality girl uh, under those circumstances that will go with you um, and for those of you out there that there's probably going to be a few people disagreeing with this but uh, some guys will swipe right on tinder or bumble and they will find a girl that is just way out of their league and, and happy with this girl uh, and some guys will get lucky in the nightclubs as well I'm not saying that it's not possible but on average uh, the law of probabilities is that and it's a high probability um, that um, you're not going to get uh, that type of a girl through the nightclub or a dating app uh, it is usually just through cold approach um, or even social circle. Uh, cold approach and, and I would argue day game. Um, and so that doesn't mean that there's not going to be a black swan event where you get lucky. Uh, I'm not saying that because there'll be some guys out there saying that they did and I have seen it myself. Some guys get um, girls that were just that were just extremely happy with. Um, but on average you're not going to. A and then the other argument to, uh, the other disagreement that might pop up, I just want to get rid of these, uh, address the, the possible criticisms early in this video, is uh, you, we're not just out there looking for hot girls because we're degenerate, like, uh, dirty men that want to sleep with as many girls as possible. Uh, we do this so that long term we'll be happy with our choice we're less likely to cheat on her we're more likely to treat her well where uh, increased probability that we will stay with her treat her well not cheat on her want to stay with her for the rest of our lives and so ideally picking out the best possible mate early so that you <clears throat> can have a long-term healthy relationship that is something that um, uh, people m misinterpret with dating a lot of girls and getting a lot of volume. The goal is to get yourself, you know, uh, cash in your chips and complete the game. You've won the game if you've uh, uh, found yourself the perfect girl and you, you've decided that's the one. Um, <clears throat> And, and so that's the, the main reason why we look for the highest possible mate. Um, highest possible value mate that we'll be happy with for a very long time. It's because we're going to stick with her. Um, and we're not going to get bored of her and leave her. We're going to stick with her for a long time. Now, this is where I get into the, the next part of it. Where um, uh, if you're on a dating app... Um, you can swipe right all day, uh, but you're only given what the algorithm and the app and whatever the political ideology of the app is of that moment, uh, you, you're, you're already fed what it can give you. Um, and we know that these algorithms are fickle and that you you have to start a new account and you have to put up new photos you have to edit these photos you have to and i'm not saying that the work um is not worth it it might be worth it but these algorithms are fickle and <clears throat> once you've done all that you're only able to chat with whatever matches you are given whereas with cold approach you can literally just choose a girl in the street generally go over and have a conversation with her as if you have just matched with her you can have matches every day without even swiping right on any one of these apps uh, and so it uh, ultimately is the the cheat code hack 
if you're not getting more than three matches with beautiful girls that you can see yourself having babies with, <laughs> um, uh, Cold Approach will give you those opportunities that the apps will not. And so that is one of the, the biggest arguments I make for reaching out to someone like myself, fill out my coaching form, and um, do some cold approach coaching with myself because that will give you the opportunities to be put in front of girls that there's a good chance they won't even swipe right on you because generally th this is another aspect of it that people misinterpret about dating is that they think that every man out there is getting girls on his level they're not uh, especially in the west the the women have uh, all of the choice and um, there's a graph that I have seen that is real graph that I think might have been released by some of these dating apps where <clears throat> there's girls that are they, they rate they rate everyone from a one to ten as an, as just as an example and every girl let's just say the girls are five she doesn't go for swipe right on the guy who's a five she swipes on six seven eight nine ten she swipes on all of those and then out of all of the ones that are above her that she matches with uh, that are technically out of her league or above her mate value out of those she will be chatting with all of them and then she will only date the higher quality guy that's like a 10 or whatever uh, out of that bundle of guys that she's matched with and then out of those top tier guys who will probably sleep with anything on these apps uh, she might find herself locked into just a rotation where she's not, she doesn't have any opportunity to get into a serious relationship with the guy. Um, she's just being used for uh, constant one night stands or constant like sex really in reality. Um, and she's not going to uh, get into a long term relationship with this guy. She's the Tuesday night lay. And so when you look at it from my point of view, cold approach if you go out there and you get yourself a girl that is above your mate value and a lot of people out there would argue that it's better that the man has the uh, leverage instead of the woman for mul multitude of reasons uh, but you will also like if we're going to be if we're going to be playing the simp beta male argument which i get in the comments a lot of the times it's insane how many brainwashed men are out there um Technically, you're saving women by doing cold approach too, because you, you'll be getting the higher mate value girls and you'll be happier with them. You'll be settling down. Uh, you won't be out there like a degenerate. You'll be happy with what you've got. You'll leave the game. You build a family. You're good for the economy. You're good for the country. You're pumping out babies for the next generation, the tax play, taxpayers for the, for the elites that, that like to attack PUA and feminists out there, um, uh, you're in fact helping the economy um, by getting a girl above your mate value that you're happy with and checking out of the game and settling down. Um, and my argument is the best way to do that is through cold approach. Um, and um, I would suggest that you get some coaching with someone like myself. Um, and on the leverage aspect of it, I would also argue that it's better that the man has leverage um, for a multitude of reasons. Um, <clears throat> because um, if you have good intentions and you're, you're a good man and you've got the leverage, then you're going to do nothing but good for your family and your future and her future. So that's a simplistic way to look at it, but we can talk for hours on why that is the case. But anyway... Um, if you're interested in doing some, uh, if you're single, you're swiping right on these apps, you're not getting any luck at, at night time, what have you got to lose but to do some coaching with myself? Fill out the form and we can get started. See you guys in the next one.